You know, a few weeks into the COVID-19 shutdown, William Sunquist, a friend, CSI member and board member, found his dining room furniture in his backyard. And not because he put it there, but because it had gotten sucked out of the living room window during a tornado, all while he was in the house. I got an early morning text from him with the pictures. And after he assured me he was okay, my next question was, what next? He said, well, we move on. Another CSI member lives near him and he spent the night at their house. The two of them went back, collected some things, and he settled in for what will be a months long stay at a local double tree. Of course, all of this happened with the constant concern of catching the coronavirus in the foreground. So as I think about this world changing pandemic, I'm struck by the value of friendships and community that form the core of CSI. At a time when we are trying to minimize human contact, Friends came to support William both spiritually and physically, helping him cope with an even more jarring and dangerous disruption. As all of us move forward together during this slow rolling natural disaster, the question remains, what next? The simple answer is, we don't know yet. There are significant hurdles ahead of us and our way of life will take some time to get back to what we consider normal, like cheering for our local team with thousands of other fans, or going to a party at a friend's home. What we do know is that our community remains intact. In fact, I would argue that we are stronger than ever because of the many ways you, others in the AEC community, and CSI members in particular, have rallied around each other in the face of this crisis. While we don't know how the economy will unfold, there will still be construction projects and related challenges in architecture, engineering, product sales, and practice. There's no doubt the landscape will shift just as it has in other times in this nation's history, whether it be 9-11, the Great Recession, or other periods of economic turmoil. Yet we always rebound and rally to address what's next. So to that end, your CSI Board of Directors and staff are doing what we can to keep you connected, engaged, and ready to adapt in order to cope with radical change, coping with changes to the workplace, and feelings of isolation. Here are a few ways we are answering the question, what next? Keeping you connected. CSI Connect, the new COVID-19 response team hosted by CSI Fellows, and discussion forums are all designed to connect you to peers who can help you navigate personal and professional challenges. Free professional development. CSI stakeholders are contributing to free and low-cost content via the CSI Learning Library, to enable your professional development and support earning your CSI learning units for certification renewal. Certification flexibility. Lowest cost pricing has been extended and new options to take in-home exams or at COVID safe testing centers are rolling out for the spring testing cycle. Chapters, chapters, and chapters. Chapters are doing a great job finding innovative ways to bring you together virtually, but Slowly but surely, we will come together again face to face, and the best place to do that will be CSI chapters. Stay in touch with your chapter through CSI Connect or their websites to see what's coming to you locally. There's more on the way, but the most important thing is that during coronavirus restrictions, these offerings are how we'll stay in touch and in support of each other as work changes, as the virus runs its course, or even if we have to pitch in to help a friend after a tornado. We hope you realize that CSI is here for you, no matter what's next.